Thanks for joining us on the spot on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. It's been a week of dramatic comebacks, and one especially that Premier League watchers would love, or Premier League lovers would love, because we have an all English Champions League final. However, there is the dizzying possibility of an all English final also in the Europa League. Tonight, Arsenal and Chelsea will be in action. Arsenal won't underrate Valencia despite the first leg results. That's according to United Emery ahead of their game with Valencia, which they lead 3 1. For, for us, it's the same message when we played the, the first leg in London. We are in 50 50 for two teams. And uh, after the first leg, the, the result is not changed my, my idea. Tomorrow is going to be very difficult here. And uh, can take some examples, uh, not yesterday, also in the past. But uh, knowing this difficult here, we are going to play with uh, all the ambition, with uh, full motivation and the preparation uh, need to be good preparation also for this match. In studio with me is Eriko Ampofo to look at this game in detail, well, as much as we can. 3-1, is it possible that Arsenal can blow it? Well, we've seen a, a team with a three-goal lead in Europe blow it, so uh, hypothetically speaking, three one advantage is still possible on the paper. But you look at a Valencia side coming into this game with a you know two goal deficit, losing three one in the first leg, and the fact that they scored six two on the weekend against Huesca, I think that would inspire some confidence that they can get some goals, um, especially in front in a game that they certainly need to score at least two goals. And you look at their last four victories out of six at home and they've you know won those games with a minus one handicap so uh, averaging 2.75 goals so in front i think that they should be fine and you look at arsenal's away form in their last two away games they've lost both and they've conceded three in both of them so it does favor valencia here but of course valencia need to score and would not also concede whilst doing so and that's where the real question comes in. Um, would they be able to keep a clean sheet against Arsenal? That would be tough but they could draw inspiration from Unai Emery's last season in the La Liga where he went the whole calendar year, not even the calendar year, the whole season without actually you know winning an away game. So he's not the best of managers when it comes to away games and Valencia wouldn't know that and that in a way gives them a chance. Gives them a chance indeed. So that's that one. Any team news to talk about in this game? I think it would be uh, more of the same, probably. Yeah, no, more, no more Aaron Ramsey. So Aubameyang, Lacazette will start with Anozio. As to whether Mkhitaryan or it will be start, uh, that would be Una Emery. But I think that no injury concern so far. Chelsea, meanwhile, will be in action, looking to also make their way to that final. And that final will be in Baku, actually. Um, Antrak Frankfurt will be their opposition. It ended 1-1 in the first leg. Interesting stuff. It's a bit more tricky for the Blues, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you know, whenever you do come home in the second leg, it's supposed to be an advantage. But when the team equals your number of goals scored away, then it becomes a problem because any other goal, that means that you do need to score now and win on the night. So... It's a tricky scenario for Chelsea FC and uh, you look at their record against uh, Bundesliga sides and they are yet to lose against a Bundesliga side in the Europa League. Uh, their home run this campaign has been nothing but excellence. Nine wins out of nine games at home. So the odds are in their favour but this is a Frankfurt side who had the privilege of resting players although they were heavily beaten over the weekend. I think by six goals to two by Leverkusen. Um, they do come in well rested and they also welcome, if you remember, World Cup star Croatian winger Ante Rebic and he was suspended for the first leg and he joins with the team here. And there's also been um, a confirmation from their coach that, that we might also see Sebastian Haller. So if these three guys, Haller, Rebic and Jovic, 
do start, then they could certainly cause problems for Chelsea, like how we do, we saw Spart um, Slavia Prague go there and still get some goals. So they have to keep a clean sheet because once Frankfurt get on the clean uh, on the goal um, goal scoring chart, it could cause some problems. It could cause problems for them. So let's know what you think of tonight's games as well. We have um, a couple of posts on Facebook you can comment on, and a couple of polls that I'll be telling you about tonight. We were asking on Facebook which of the dramatic games of Wednesday and Tuesday was better. Thoughts? You know, this morning I was here on the AM show and I said that I think the Spurs one had more weight. And I clearly outlined my reasons. And yeah, I was still bashed on Twitter for it. But I'm going to go ahead and say it again. Because I do believe that Spurs were handicapped. Liverpool had the benefit of you know a whole week to know what they have to achieve. They could train for it. They knew what was at hand. Spurs was an adversity in a game. They had to readjust quickly. They had 45 minutes to score three goals away without the benefit of your home crowd. That is extremely difficult. And to do it without your top scorer, Harry Kane, and all these injury problems, and it's a fantastic comeback. Take nothing away from Liverpool. but. I think the Spurs on the night doing it away, scoring three goals, the nature of the goals, the time they scored it, it just makes it more memorable than the Liverpool one. But the Liverpool one was also fantastic. Interesting. Debate goes on. I'll be telling you what the result of those polls are tonight when I come your way with the news on Prime. I'm Gary Al Smith. Many thanks to Eric Ampo for. And that's the sport for now. Get more on the sport page of myjoyaline.com.